Peggy 18. I'm Tommy Jacob, the creative director on Ghost Recon Future Soldiers Multiplayer. In Future Soldier, we have two equally equipped factions, the Ghost and the Bodar. Within each faction, you have access to three different roles, the Rifleman, the Scout, and the Engineer. The Rifleman is a forward assault heavy hitter. He comes with improved armor that can sustain more hits to the torso than the Scout and the Engineer. He unlocks equipment like underbarrel grenade launchers and an ammo box that allows him to resupply himself and his teammates during combat. He also has access to assault rifles and light machine guns. The LMGs are the only weapons that cause suppression. The Scout has a more subtle approach. He uses high-tech concealment from optical camo to remain undetected by some intel devices, but not all of them. Through the Scout's progression, you gain access to stun mines, non-lethal traps. Stun mines incapacitate your enemies, setting them up for a data hack providing intel to you and your team. I can feed, stand by. You'll also have the choice of upgrading to augmented camo, which allows you to remain concealed while on the prowl. The preferred weapons of the scout, sniper rifles and submachine guns. The engineer is an intel specialist. He comes equipped with a laser warning system that detects when he's within an enemy's scope. He unlocks some of the coolest equipment, including the drone, which collects intel to share with his team, and the sentry turret to use for that extra line of defense. The engineer uses shotguns or personal defense rifles as his weapon of choice. All of these options, on top of a universal equipment list and unlocking weapon customization points per level, provide the player with an arsenal full of equipment and weapon choices to experiment with. Thanks for checking it out.